Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. This is a cooking tutorial on how to make poutine. If you don't know what poutine is, or you've not made it before, it's essentially chips with cheese and gravy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the chips and the gravy from scratch. So, first thing you have to do is you need to get your ingredients. You need three white potatoes, a ball of mozzarella, 40 grams of cheddar, half a chicken stock cube, two tablespoons of corn flour, five grams of chives, oil, water, salt, and pepper. Then you need to take your three white potatoes and chop them. I prefer thin cut chips, but if you like thick chips, you can have those, that's okay. However, I'd recommend you leave the skins on unless you really don't like them. Then, you need to take your chips and put them in a baking tray. You need to drizzle them with the oil and season with salt and pepper. You should have preheated your oven at the start because you're a dingus and you followed me, you need to do it now. So, if you have an electric oven, preheat to 200 degrees, gas mark 6 if you're gas, or if you have a fan, Alexa, set the oven to 180 degrees. These will then be cooked for 20 to 25 minutes, however I will take them out 5 minutes before the end to add the cheese. Chives. Um, chop them. Then, in a separate bowl, you want to mix your 2 tablespoons of corn flour with 2 tablespoons of cold tap water. This will be used later to thicken up your gravy. Next, you want to put your saucepan on the hob on a high heat, then add 400 milliliters of water. I prefer to boil my water beforehand because it speeds everything up. After, add your stock cube. Warning, please take packaging off of stock cubes. Once the stock cube has dissolved, you can add your chives and your corn flour water mixture from earlier. This is your gravy. You'll want to then mix that with a whisk to make sure there's no lumps left in it from the corn flour. You'll then want to set this to a medium heat and keep on whisking it. It may seem watery now, but by the time the chips are done, it should have thickened up. With roughly 5 minutes left on your timer for your chips, you should take them out and you should add your cheese. Most people prefer to grate their cheese, but I like to slice it. Then place this cheese on top of your chips and return it to the oven for the last 5 minutes of the timer. Everything should be ready now. You should have a thickish gravy and chips which are covered in cheese. This recipe serves 2 people, but the portions will be quite big, so it could serve 3. Thank you for watching. My social media links and stuff will be in the top left. Um, I would put credits on the right, but I'm the only one who did this. This took me a while. This took me about a month to animate and come up with the ideas and write the script for. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Because it took me so long, I'd really appreciate it if you, you know, like, subscribe, share it, show it to people. Um, I more sort of made this to sort of practice my different animation skills and audio skills and stuff like that. More than anything, it was more of a thing for me than to gather attention but it's you know might as well share all my efforts um any you know feedback any constructive criticism you guys have you could write in the comments which will be on this video or send them to me if you you know dms on my social medias um yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoy the food